Hey everyone! So it was really requested that I do a video on my MAC palettes and I only have two so I thought I would do this for you and just kind of go through all the colors and not make this a really long video and kind of tell you what my favorites are. So let's get started. I have two palettes and the first one is just kind of a basic neutrals and the next one is a miscellaneous. It really has no theme or anything really, just a bunch of shadows. Um, I prefer to get pans, first of all, because they are cheaper, and second of all, it helps me to have them in a palette to kind of visualize what would go well together, to kind of see what reflex complement each other in each shadow. So that's really important to me, and it is saving money. Um, I have only one shadow that's not in here that I really like that I haven't depotted, and this is called Tissue Weight, and it was from a, um, an old collection, and this is a really pretty pink. But um, I'm going to try to not to uh, talk about the limited edition ones because you guys can't get those. But pretty much everything in here is a regular. So the first color that I have, which is like my highlight color, and let's see if I can get this out, is Dazzle Light. And this is um, one of my go-to highlights. It's really pretty and it has a really pretty shimmer. Sometimes it's a little too shimmery for me. Um, it's extremely pigmented. You won't be able to see a lot of these on my arm swatch just because they are all kind of neutral colors. Um, the next one is my favorite eyeshadow, and this is Brulee from MAC. From MAC? They're all from MAC, so let's stop saying that. This is just a um, kind of nude color. It's matte. It's very, very pretty. It um, is like identical to my skin tone, but I also, I actually found a dupe for that. And that is the Wet n Wild color in Brulee. So you don't have to get that, spend $11 on a MAC to get the same color. So that's right there. This one is my favorite eyeshadow. Basically, um, it's Femi Fi or Fem Fi, Fem, I have no idea how you say it. But I depotted it and put a, um, a tag on the back and a magnet. This is my perfect highlight color. It's limited edition, which sucks. It's just not overly glittery. Yeah, you can't see any of these on my arm. Um, it's gorgeous. It has like kind of yellowy undertones. I just love it so much. As you can see, I'm almost out of it, which makes me really sad. But um, I'm using it sparingly. The next one is Naked Lunch. And as you can see, I love that one too. This one is a really pretty um, for all over lid. It has a really nice sheen to it. It's not really glittery. It's just kind of like a pink um, iridescence. You can't see that either. Um, and the next one is another one of my favorites, and I've been using this a lot more lately. This is one of my newer shadows, and this is Just, and it looks like that. It's very similar to um, Naked Lunch, but this one is more of like, it's creamier, if you can see that. And then the one after that I have is um, All That Glitters which is kind of like a browner version of both of those but it has the same sort of sheen to it but it is a little bit darker as you can see it's kind of more of a tan rather than a pink the next color that I have is Kid and this is a it's like a matte I think it's a Velux actually but it looks like that. It's really pretty for an all-over crease and then with a darker outer V. Um, can't really see that. It just adds a lot of definition to your eye. And I really like to mix it with the next one that I have in here. And this is soft brown. And I believe... No, this is just a matte. And this is like a more orangey. It's on the middle finger there. Um, color that you can use like all over in the crease and like I said I like to mix them together and they look really good together you can see them right there the next color is a staple in a lot of my looks and this is brown down it looks like that it's just a flat matte brown and this I believe is also a Velux like that. It's not picking up how dark it actually is. It's actually extremely dark and you can really build it up. It's like that. It's very, very gorgeous. I love this color. It's really, really great for like outer V and then smoking it out underneath. This is an excellent color for that. The next one is also a newer one that I really love and this is Sable. 
and I would describe the color as kind of just like a brown with a golden sheen. It won't really pick up the sheen on camera, but this like goes with any look because it's just such a neutral color and it doesn't have like, it's not either like warm or cold, it just kind of is. So it goes really well with a lot of things and it's um, shimmery but it's not glittery. So that's very workable. The next one is my namesake, which is Woodwinked. I love the shadow. It was like my first favorite MAC shadow. And it's just like a gold and it looks so pretty in the crease. And um, just like an all over or right underneath the eye for a pop of color. This is gorgeous and I love it. It's just like the perfect gold. Sorry, turn my light off. Um, my bracelet doesn't get in the way. It's right there. The next one is Twinks, and this one is just as gorgeous. I feel like that's how I'm describing all the colors, and this probably won't be helpful. Um, I really like that this has plum undertones to it, and I like putting it over top of like a matte or flat brown, and it just gives a really nice like smoked out look. And it just looks like that. My camera like isn't picking up the iridescence. It's probably also because I'm being washed out because I'm like in front. Can you see that? That was like the most awkward place to swatch it. Hold on, let me swatch it somewhere else. Swatch on the back of my hand. You can see it's right there. And it just, like in different lights, it just looks different and it's really pretty. The next one is Satin Taupe. On a lot of people, it looks brown, but on me it looks gray. And um, I pair it up with more gray tones because of that. But this is a color that looks different on everybody. But, um... It's very, very pretty. As you can see, it looks like more gray. Like everyone says it's a brown, but I don't think so. Um, the next one is print. And this is such a great color. It's like, it's like a matte gray with a tiny bit of glitter in it, but like not chunky glitter. And the glitter doesn't even show up. But um, this is great to just put right in the outer corner and um, it just brightens up the look so much. And it's not that hard to work with either, surprisingly, because it is kind of like a weird consistency. But when you blend it, it's really blendable. And the last one in this palette is Carbon, which is a matte black. It's very, very buildable, which is what's good about this. And it's great to use as a liner. As you can see, it's just a black. And it doesn't really swatch but you have to really build it up and that's good because you don't want just like black like all of a sudden you want to be able to build that color up so out of my neutrals if I had to pick um my favorites it would probably be like I guess I'll pick top three it would be brulee but I would recommend going and getting the wet and wild one because it is a dupe something just fell um and then for my favorite highlight it would be femme fee but you can't get that anymore. Um, and then I would say Woodwinked and um, Brown Down are very universal colors. So my top picks would be Brulee, uh, Woodwinked, and Brown Down for this palette. And I really like all of them and I highly recommend any of these. I have no problems with any of them and I think they are all really, really great. And you can create a lot of looks out of them. I mean, it's endless. So that would be my neutral palette. Next we have my miscellaneous colors palette. And there are some in here that I don't like. Um, so I'll just kind of show you again. The first one is Gesso, which is just a matte white. And I've actually been using this on my face to kind of highlight. Um, it's just a flat white, you know, nothing really special about it. Um, I don't say I regret buying it, but when I bought it, I thought I would be able to use it more than I actually do. I barely ever use this, so I really wouldn't, wouldn't recommend getting it. Like, not many people just put white on their face, but it's a good color to have to, like, mix with things and to blend things out. So definitely, um, not a bad shadow, but it, there's really not that many uses for it. The next one is Samoa Silk, and I really don't like this shadow just basically because of the color. Um... It is a Velox. You can't really see it, and it just kind of comes off like really orange, and I'm really not an orange type of person. Um, 
because I really don't like this that much, but if you like that sort of color, then it would be a great shadow for you. The next one I actually like, um, this is Goldmine, and it's a really pretty, like, yellow gold, and it's very, very pigmented, very smooth, and it looks great on the inner corners and underneath the eye, and it really brightens it up. It's just a really, really pretty color. The next one was limited edition, and I depotted it, and this is Cosmic. And this is just a pretty gold, but it kind of has a weird um, tone to it. It's kind of cool, and I don't really like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I like had to cough that whole time. My eyes are watering. Uh, the next one I don't really like either. I guess I really don't like this palette. Um... And this is Mythology. It's just kind of really messy and glittery and fallouty, And it's like a rusty type of color. And it's just not really my thing. But um, it does look good if you put like a brown down and then just put this on top of it. That looks nice. But other than that, I don't really use that that much. Next one, I don't like this one at all. I feel so bad. I don't like any of these. Um, this is Dear Cupcake. It was from the cake collection. Th this color just has no color payoff at all. You can barely see it. You can, like when you swatch it, you don't even see it. It's just not a good color. Uh, it's not a good formula at all. I like the next one. It's expensive pink. Uh, this is a gorgeous color. I just recently kind of like rediscovered it and I've been using it a lot just as a lid color and then nothing else and it looks really pretty. So that's right there. Another one that I actually like is Cranberry, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. And this goes well with so many things, and it's great for the holidays, too. Um, to have a not overly Christmassy look, but to have some kind of red in there. And this works well with anything. If, like, I had to get just one color and, like, have the rest be neutrals, it would be this color. And it doesn't make you look sick. Like, a lot of reds and pinks make you look kind of, like, sickly. This one doesn't, so we really like this one. The next one is Humid, and this is like the perfect kind of um, emerald green, and this is like exactly the color of my prom dress, what my prom dress was, and I had that when I went to prom and I wore it. Um, it just looks like that. It's really, really pretty. Actually, I think that was my junior prom dress. I think so. Um, this one is Silver Ring, and it's depotted. And this is really pretty. It's ve it's very cool and um, blue. It has a lot of those tones in it. And I'm not really a fan of blue tones, but it works with this. And it, this is great to create a real smoky eye. And the next one is Chrome Yellow. I'd wanted this for the longest time, and I have no idea why, but I use it like all the time. Um, if you just put this, I have a tutorial, I believe, using this. If you just put this on the lid and then put a brown in the crease, it looks gorgeous. And it's really pigmented, obviously. Um, it's so bright. It's really pretty. This is a great color for, like, um, just if you want, like, a really bright color, I would go with this because this just shocks everyone and it looks really good. The next one is just an old pan of brulee that I used up, but it had, like, a little bit in the ring, so I kept it. And then the last one, you guys probably, I'm uploading the video now, and it's about fake MAC. And this is just a fake eyeshadow, and I know where else to put it, so I put it in this palette. So out of these, the ones that I like the most um, would be probably these four I would pick. I would pick Goldmine, Expensive Pink, Cranberry, and Humid. And I think that those would be really four really great colors to have in your collection because I think they're really universal and they could work for pretty much anyone and um, I have no problems with any of them. They're all kind of the same finish and they all really go together really nicely and I feel that they go with neutrals very nicely as well and if you want a bright color I would recommend getting chrome yellow. So that is my MAC palettes. I hope this video isn't too long and I'll be able to upload it. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please post them below or if you want any recommendations. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.